Hello guys, my name is Dennis Kadro. Welcome to my YouTube channel. On this video, I'm going to show you how to use Zoom on your computer. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to create an account on Zoom. So to do that, you're going to head over to your browser. And then on the search field, you're going to search for zoom.us. So when the site is open, this is what you're going to see. So this is the Zoom website. So right here is where you can create an account for Zoom. So to do that, you can go ahead and hit on the sign up free button to create a free account or you can hit on this plan or pricing button to choose a plan so i'm going to be going with the sign up free button so when i hit on it it's going to bring me to this page where i need to verify my date of birth so after entering your date of birth you can go ahead and hit on the continue button down below so right here you can input your company or organization's email address or your personal email address or you can go down here to use your google account to create an account or use your Facebook account. So I'm going to go with the Google account right here. So after setting up your Zoom account with your Google account, it's going to bring you to the Zoom homepage right here. At the top here, you have your personal profile. You have your meetings. So right here, you can preview your upcoming meetings, your previous meetings, personal room, and meeting templates. So down here, you have webinars. You can view your personal contact down here. And then down here under the recordings, you get to see all your recorded meetings on Zoom. So if you record a meeting on Zoom, this is where it's going to appear. So you can come here and check it out. So I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute. So to host a meeting on Zoom, you're going to hover your mouse down to your host a meeting button. So when you hit on the host a meeting button, you get three options right there. You can host a meeting with your video off. You can host a meeting with video on. And lastly, you can host a meeting by sharing a screen only. So I'm going to select one of them right here. So I'm going to go with the video off. So when I click on that, so it's going to bring you to this page right here. Yeah, it's going to ask you to open Zoom meeting. So if you have the Zoom application already installed on your computer, it's going to need you to click on this open Zoom meetings. But if you don't have a Zoom application on your computer, it's going to prompt you to download a Zoom application or the application will automatically be downloaded on your computer. I have a Zoom application already on this system, so I'm going to go ahead and hit on the Open Zoom Meetings button. So right now, I am hosting a Zoom meeting, so I'm going to walk you through on how to work with these buttons. So with the first button right here, we have the microphone button. So right here, you can mute and unmute your audio. So if I click on it and you see this red line across my mic, that means my audio is muted. But when the line is not there, that means my audio is on. So right here you have this little arrow right here beside the button so when you click on that so right here i have different microphones so you can select whatever microphone you want to use for your zoom meeting right here you can also select the speakers so basically what you can do right here is to select the inputs and the output devices so right here you can switch on and off your camera by simply clicking on the button so right now you can see it's off so if I click on this right now, it's going to be switched on. So I don't want to do that. So on the camera button, you have a little arrow right there pointing upwards. So when you click on the arrow, right here, you get to choose different cameras for your Zoom meeting. So at the top right here, I have the Erion webcam. So this Erion webcam is a software that I installed on my computer where I can use my phone where, where I can use my phone's camera as a webcam or where I can use my phone as a webcam for my computer. So I have a video already on this channel on how to use your phone as a webcam for your computer. So I have a link to that video in the description of this video. You will also see the video at the end of this video. So basically right here, you get to choose any camera you want to use for your Zoom meeting. So you can also change your background and also add filters to your video. So up next, you have your security. So right here, you get to lock your meeting. You get to enable waiting room, hide your profile picture. So up next, we have the participant button. So with the participant button, you get to see the number of people that are on your Zoom meeting. So as you can see right here, I have only one person, which is me. You can also invite other people to your meeting by clicking on this invite button right here. So when you click on the invite button, you can invite people via default email, via your Gmail, via Yahoo Mail. So right here you have the copy invite link. We also have the copy invitation. So when you click on the copy invitation. So let's say you paste it here. So right here you have your meeting ID. So this is the meeting ID you copy and then send to people for them to actually join your meeting. So if you find this video helpful so far, please do well to support my channel by giving this video a like and also subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you get notified when I post a new video. Thank you. 
So up next, we have the chat button. So when you hit on the chat button, so right here, you get to chat with people that are in your meeting. Next, we have the share screen. So with the share screen, you can share different screen. So if you have different windows open on your computer that maybe you want to show your audience, you can simply come over here and select the window for your audience to see. So when you select a window, you can hit on the share button right here to share the window or share the screen. So up here, you have the whiteboard. So with the whiteboard right here, you can simply show illustrations. So I have this whiteboard selected right now. So when I click on the share button, so right here, I have my whiteboard. So let's say for instance, I'm teaching a class and I need to illustrate whatever it is that I'm teaching. I can open my whiteboard and then right here, I can illustrate whatever it is I want to show them. So right here, you can add text, you can draw, you can stamp, you can add spotlight, you can erase. You can... So you can basically annotate right here. So I'm going to get rid of this right now. So when I do that, it's going to bring me back here. So down here is where you record your meetings. So when you click on the record button right here, recording in progress, it's going to start recording your meeting. So let's say for instance, you are done with your meeting and you want to end your meeting. You can simply hit on this end button right here. So when you click on that, so right here it says end meeting for everyone. And at the bottom it says leave meeting. So if you want to leave the meeting, but you still want the people in the meeting to still participate or you want the meetings to go on, you can simply hit on this leave meeting for you alone to leave the meeting. But if you are done with the meeting, there's nothing more to discuss. You can simply hit on this end meeting for all to end the meeting for everyone. So I'm going to hit on this end meeting for all right now to end my meeting. Recording stop. So after ending your meeting, you are going to see your recording will be converted. So after the recording, it's going to need you to select a location where you want your recording to be saved. So right here, I'm going to choose my desktop and then click on the OK button. So when I go over to my desktop, there I have my recording. So that is how to host a meeting. So what if you want to join a meeting? You can simply hit on this join a meeting button. So when you hit on the join a meeting button, it's going to bring you to this page. So right here on this feed is where you paste the meeting ID that will be sent to you. So when you paste the meeting ID right here, or you type it in, you can go ahead and hit on the join button right here to join the meeting. So that is it for this video, guys. That's how to use Zoom on your computer. So if you find this video helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also turn on post notifications so you get notified when I post a new video. Thank you and I'll see you on the next one.